Hi fans of high quality entertainment. Ow! Oh, ow. Oh. I'm okay. I just slipped. Ugh. I'm okay. <laughs> that was good timing. I should brush my hair someday. Uh, once again, I really enjoy doing this type of video and, and I know my viewers love it. I am going to, without looking, pick 12 albums from my massive CD collection and then I, I'm going to look at the albums and I'm going to rank them from my least favorite to my favorite and give a little, little mini review. Now, if I pick a like a greatest hits or a live album, I might exchange it for something else. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Ooh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, eight, nine, ten, twelve. 12. Probably grabbed a uh, Zappa and a Yes album at the bottom. Well, I got a live album. I'm going to put it back. Lou Reed Live. So let's grab another one. Okay. Craftwork Autobahn. <laughs> Look, it's Paul McCartney's Driving Rain. I'm going to be doing a video on this. Another, another live album, and it's a doozy. Oh my god. Grand Funk live album. I'm, I'm gonna pick a studio album. Oh, okay. The Moody Blues on the Threshold of a Dream. ELO2. Uh, another live album, David Bowie's Stages. Uh, hmm. Blue Easter Cult, Heaven Forbid. Uh, the band, music from Big Pink. Uh, another uh, greatest hit, so I'll pick another CD. Eh, Sparks, Terminal Jive. Dang it, another greatest hits, The Rascals. <sighs> Talking Heads Remain in Light. The Sensational Alex Harvey Band, The Impossible Dream. This is two albums, but I'll do The Impossible Dream. Richard Thompson, Mock Tudor. Neil Young on the beach and Frank Zappa you know some of this maybe all of it is live but I'm, I'll, I'll pick this one because a lot of his albums have live stuff on them burnt weenie sandwich okay so 12 albums I'll uh, cut this I'll go through them and I'll put them from my least favorite to my favorite and give a little mini review. I'll be back. I'm back. All right. This, it took me about two minutes to rank them. So all of these, I really like. There, there's not a dud in the mix, thankfully. And so this first one, number 12, I would give it I guess maybe a, a 7 out of 10. Talking heads remain in light. Yeah, I just have never totally gotten into the, the full album. My favorite album of theirs is Fear of Music. But I really love Cross-Eyed and Painless and of course Once in a Lifetime and maybe one other song. But yeah, it's my least favorite. 7 out of 10. 
This one I've only played a couple of times. I liked it. It's pretty heavy. The only negative is this band usually has a, you know, a variety of music on their albums. Almost like different genres. And this one is more straight head, straight headed hard rock. But it's still pretty good. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. And I'll give the album cover a 0 out of 10. <laughs> Blue Easter Cult, heaven forbid. Number 10. Yeah, this one I would give a 9 out of 10. So, like I said, these are all really good albums. I play this quite often. Craftwork, radi Radioactivity. Love it all. Number 9. Yeah, I've got about probably six of his albums. And all of them are just so good. I think they're all at least eights or nines out of, out of ten. Richard Thompson, Mock Tudor. Highly recommend it. And such a under... well, I don't, I don't think he's underrated, but he's a great guitarist, too. Number eight. Oh, Glenn Kellaway from the basement's not going to be happy. But still, I love the album. It is The Mothers of Invention Burnt Weenie Sandwich. My favorite track is probably The Little House I Used to Live In. All right, 12, 11, 10, 9, Number seven. This might surprise some people, but it sparks. Terminal Jive. Yeah, when this came out after number number one in heaven in 1980, it, it was the first time I was disappointed in the Sparks album. But through the years, especially I'd say the last two or three, I've I've grown to really appreciate this album a lot more. Nine out of ten. And it contains their classic song, When I'm With You which was a, I believe, a number one song in France. Yeah, and my favorite songs are Stereo, When I'm With You, and The Greatest Show on Earth. Number six would probably be higher for most other people, but like I said, I still love all, all these albums. Pink, Pink Floyd, the band. Music from Pink. Music from Big Pink. That, that's why I was thinking Pink Floyd in my head. I, I shouldn't be drinking so early in the morning. Just joking. Yeah, excellent album, although like I always say, my favorite is Cahoots. Number five. Neil Young, On the Beach. These are all still 9 out of 10. Love it. Okay, these are, yeah, still 9 out of 10, I guess. But, I'm still li listening to this album before I do the review, but I think Paul McCartney's Driving Rain, it just hit me well, I guess in the last year, year or so, uh, how, how good it is. And the last time I played it, it's like, this is just so underrated. I need to talk about it. And I will. So that's 9 out of 10. So these three are all 10 out of 10. Along with... El Dorado, my favorite album by the Electric Light Orchestra, ELO 2. Number 2, the sensational Alex Harvey band, The Impossible Dream. This was the very first album by the sensational Alex Harvey band that I ever bought, and it is still my favorite, even though they have many great albums. And number one, a band that I really, really 
got into more than ever in the past year or so. The Moody Blues on the Threshold of a Dream. It's number one. Love every song. And that's it. Let me know in the comment section below what are some of your favorite albums or least favorite from what I showed. Thank you and have a great day. Bye.